The Scales and Balances Test Type Package allows you to verify the accuracy of a scale or balance. Before getting into the setup and use of the Scales and Balances Test Type Package, I'd like to go over three definitions you'll need to know before moving forward. The first is CTL, which is the Calibration Tolerance Limit. This describes the standard limit of passing or failing each section of the test. A measurement or calculation is considered to have failed if it is outside of this limit. The second is PCTL, which is the Process Calibration Tolerance Limit. This describes an expanded limit of passing or failing each section of the test. A measurement or calculation is considered to be of a higher level failure if it is outside of this limit. The third is LSDU. LSDU stands for Least Significant Digit Unit. This number defines the unit of the CTO and PCTO. For example, if the LSDU is 0.01 grams and the CTO is 5 for the corner test, the actual limit is plus minus 0.05 grams. When creating a new master record that uses the scales and balances test type, the test type must be applied to the record through its calibration points tab. Once a new group has been added to the record, open the test type dropdown and select scales and balances from the list of available test types. Once the test type has been selected, the inputs will change according to the settings defined by the package. The output resolution field will be relabeled LSDU Res, which stands for Least Significant Digit Unit Resolution. This field value is the number of decimal places used for all measurement readings and the LSDU value. The plus minus field will be relabeled LSDU, and the output signal type will be labeled Unit of Measure. As stated before, this test verifies the accuracy of a scale or balance. The test is configured by specifying the unit of measurement and accuracy of the device being tested and setting the limits for the various tests. Collection of the calibration data involves three tests on the device. A zero check, a repeatability test, and a corner shift check. All tests must pass for the calibration to be considered successful. The test type inputs used in this test should be entered through the Group Options box, which can be accessed by clicking the Show Group Options button on the right side of the screen. The inputs are the Capacity field, in which you will enter the capacity value. The Corner Shift CTL field is used to enter the decimal value for the CTL on the corner test. The value is expressed in the number of least significant digit units. This is a plus minus value from the center reading. The corner shift PCTL field is used to enter the decimal value for the PCTL of the corner test also expressed in the number of least significant digit units. The pan design field allows you to select either a square or circle pan design. The repeatability CTL field is used for the decimal value of the CTL for the repeatability test. Once again, it is expressed in the number of least significant digit units. This is the maximum allowable standard deviation of the readings. The repeatability PCTL field is used to enter the decimal value for the PCTL of the repeatability test, also expressed in the number of least significant digit units. The repeatability readings field is used to enter the number of readings that will be taken during the repeatability test. The zero check CTL field is for the decimal value of the CTL for the zero check test. Like the others, this is expressed in the number of least significant digit units. It is also the maximum deviation from zero. The zero check PCTL field is for the decimal value of the PCTL for the zero check test also expressed in the number of least significant digit units. And the zero check readings field is used to enter the number of readings that will be taken during the zero check test. Once the setup values for the scales and balances test type have been entered onto your master record, the calibration data can now be entered onto the test results tab of its calibration record. To enter your calibration data, select the view enter data button. This will open the scale balance test data screen. The screen displays three tabs. The first is the zero check tab. This tab is used to enter data for the zero check test. In the fields provided, you can enter the warm up time, tear reading, weight applied, as found and as left readings. 
it is important to note that the tear reading and weight applied do not have separate values for as found and as left. One value is stored for both. The as left entered checkbox controls the as left entered output value of the related test. When unchecked, the related as left test entry section of the tab will read same as as found for all applicable fields. You may use the as found and as left buttons in the data view section to view or enter readings. After entering the data, if you wish to save the record, click the apply button. Once the apply button has been selected, a group calibration code will appear in the calibration code section at the bottom of the screen. The calibration code can range from A to D. Calibration code criteria will be covered towards the end of the video. The next tab is the repeatability tab. This tab is used to enter data for the repeatability test. In the fields provided, you may enter the tear reading, weight applied, and then as found and as left readings. After entering the readings for the repeatability test and selecting the apply button, the mean and standard deviation will be displayed. These are the calculations used for the mean and standard deviation. Just like the previous tab, the as left entered checkbox controls the as left entered output value of the related test. When unchecked, the related as left test entry section of the tab will read same as as found for all applicable fields. Once again, you may use the as found and as left buttons in the data view section to view or enter your readings. The third tab is the corner shift tab. This tab is used to enter data for the corner test. Here, you can see that the pan design displays the values selected on the test type inputs of the master record being calibrated. In the rest of the fields provided, you may enter the weight applied, the center reading, and as found and as left values. After entering the data, click the apply button to save your readings. After selecting the apply button, the low limit and high limit columns will be populated to the right of each reading and the pass fail column will display the results of each reading. Once again, the as left entered checkbox controls the as left entered output value of the test. When unchecked, the related as left test entry section of the tab will read same as as found for all applicable fields. You may also decide to skip the corner test by selecting the skip corner test checkbox. Just be aware that if you enter data onto the corner test and then use the skip corner test checkbox, all data will be erased. Once you've chosen to skip the test, you will be required to enter a reason. All tests performed will have its as left data recorded if there is an as found failure. The pass fail criteria is the same for both as found and as left readings. Here is the pass fail criteria for each tab. If any as found failure occurs, the group's as found status is set to failed. If failed, the technician can adjust it. If any as left failure occurs, the group's as left status is set to failed. Here is a breakdown of the group calibration codes. A means that all as found and as left readings have passed. B means that there were as found failures outside of the CTL value, but all as left tests have passed. C means that there were as found failures outside of the PCTL value, but all as left tests have passed. And D means that there were as found failures outside of the CTL value and as left failures outside of the CTL value. Once your values have been entered and applied, you can close the scale balance test data screen, select pass or fail for your calibration and save your record. And that's all there is to it. Now you can use the scales and balances test type package in ProCal V5. Thank you.